you know, one of the things I also discovered is that people that don't have money often take advice from people that don't have money. And so they spend a lot of time together, birds of a feather, what flock together. So they've got other folks in their life also similarly situated, broke as well. And they're all talking about what you ought to do and what you ought to do and what you ought to do. And it's fascinating because look at what they've done, look at what they have. And then you step back and you go, aha, it might make sense to you to get advice from people that have more than you do. And success, for example, I'm in the real estate game, success in real estate, doing not one deal, not two deals, hundreds, even over a thousand deals makes a lot of sense because been there, done that is definitely the truth. You know, when you have a situation of a septic system backing up and you already know what the answer is, or you have the, the situation of a leaking roof and you already know how to repair that roof without having to put a whole new roof on there. People without experience would put a whole new roof because they don't know any better. Others know how to repair that. So just be careful who you get your advice from and where you get your advice from.